Welcome everyone to the War Thunder game, my name is Iron Rifle and to in today's video I'll try to cover how to level up fast in your country air force and your pilot. Starting off with your pilot. As you can see here I'm level 22 and when you go to your profile tab, you can find it here, you can see that I'm I have flown about 80 hours in all of my all of my aircrafts. It's uh, 52 hours in ba in fighter, 23 hours in bomber, and only five hours in the attacker planes. And I did that in about two weeks of of play. That get me to the level 22, and to level well, just recently level 15 in the U.S. Air Force, and level 12 in my British Air Force. But how can you do it? How can you level up faster? Well, the amount of experience you get from the from the battle is based on how well you perform in it. So let's say you go into the battle and you are just assisting other players, uh, you just score some hits against uh, enemy aircrafts. That game will not yield much experience and credits for you. But on the other hand, when you are lucky enough to, let's say, destroy 10 enemy air aircrafts, with your, of course if you are flying fighters, destroy 10 enemy aircrafts, uh, you damage uh, a bunch of them, and you also manage to destroy, well, a couple of ground targets, well, that game will yield you very good experience. You can always check how well you perform in the previous battles by going to the event log, the messages, and going to battles. As you can see here, my last battle was that defeat in the ground strike Asia and I did earn 30,000 experience for that mission. But if I go through others, oh, you can see here I did only get 6,000 experience for the game so I didn't do that good in it. But with this uh, victory on the port mission, I did get 32,000 experience. You might ask, okay, but how do you get that experience? What are the bonuses and the other stuff on the aircraft itself? When, well, when you hover up over your aircraft, let's go with my Kitty Hawk. When you hover over it, you can see that it's a rank 4 and it do get the reward bonus of 35%. But when you go for this premium high in, you can see that the, the same reward bonus for the aircraft is actually increased. It's based on the 20% and by it being a premium aircraft, it's giving me 65% more. So I'm getting 85% more reward, uh, more credits for every uh, hit every kill and uh, every ground unit uh, unit destroyed with it. Also, it do have experience bonus of plus 100 percent. That means for every hundred experience, I will double it. But if you can see here, let's go for the bombers. Their reward bonus is a. Uh, increased at the start. As you can see here, my reward bonus for this Flying Fortress, the first one you get, is plus 100%. Because getting to your targets with the long-range bomber is a bit of the challenge. Because most of the fighters, uh, fighter pilots will go for these uh, not armed ground targets like uh, anti-aircrafts, uh, flak cannons, uh, light tracks, and stuff like that and they will kill it before you even get to it so to even the game the long-range bombers get some more reward bonus from uh, from killing the f killing the targets and that's represented by this 100% more there is uh, also a thing with the golden eagles well if you do like to support the game and buy some golden eagles 
you do have the option to install the talisman on your plane. As you can see here in the when I hover of the, over the talisman this uh, information comes up that talisman plane allows to gain 100% more experience when flying this aircraft. As you can see I do have the talisman on my B-17 I did bought it, it, w it was uh, costing me 1700 uh, golden eagles but I will say it's an uh, investment well placed because with this bomber I do usually get to kill like three or four targets in the game what these three or four targets are mainly the uh, enemy aircraft carriers and some high value targets let's uh, let's call them that way so for for it I do get the reward bonus of plus 100 percent and because I did install the talisman I get another 100 percent experience so that's the second thing you can do to level up faster. The talisman will actually allow you to gain more experience each battle you, you play. The last thing you can do is going to your profile tab and in it you get this convert experience uh, button. When you press it this window comes up and it's uh, basically saying okay you are level 15 in the US Air Force I do have some free experience for each battle you play portion of your experience will go to that uh, to that free experience pool and as of right now I do have six and a half million free experience so what I can do with it is I can convert it but converting it will cost me some golden eagles well, it's ain't that much uh, concerning how much I am converting. Well, let's say I will convert all of my free experience. So, six and a half million experience will get me from just the beginning of rank 15 to, let's say, 20% or 10% uh, in level 17. Well, not actually something I will go for. But let's say you do only have, uh, like me, in the Japanese tree, I am only level 3. So what can I do? If all of those words, all free experience will get me? Oh, it will get me to the level 13. Well, 10 levels. Okay. That, that could be cool. So, well, let's see well, where it will take me in the research tree. Remember, I was to able to hit level 13, so I will get all of those bombers. I will get all of the hyenas, and I will get up to the up to the risen, which is uh, tier 12. So going for the tier 13, well, with all of those free experience, might not be the greatest idea. You might want to go just to uh, start of the level 12 because most of the aircrafts are level 12. So in that case, you might just focus on getting to level 12, just to faster level up your tree and get access to all of those aircrafts. But keep in mind that whenever you want to buy, well, let's say I want to buy this reason, you have the information that the previous plane must be bought. So I do need to buy the previous version on previous aircraft for 24,000 credits then I will be allowed to spend 88,000 credits for this reason so always keep that in mind whenever you are uh, converting experience to get some aircrafts be sure to have enough uh, lions to cover your expenses for for new aircrafts and putting them into the service so I do think that that will it will cover all the subject if you have any other questions feel free to leave a comment I will try to get to you as soon as I can also visit me on the twitch uh, I am streaming from uh, 6 ish 
CEST. I'm trying to get the uh, schedule working. I need to do some some arrangements for it. So I believe from the next week I will have a set schedule for for releasing the videos and the uh, streaming hours. Uh, also for the bombing video, I don't think I will be able to get it uh, by the end of the week by tomorrow. Just because the patch did mess up some uh, some damage uh, damage model to the aircrafts. And it's a very hard thing right now to get with the bombers to the to the ground targets to actually drop the bombs and to actually confirm what all the findings I do I do have right now. But I will try to do it, don't worry. But I'm just saying that the video might be a bit in uh, I, it might be delayed a bit. So guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you like the video, or like the little button down the, the page if you like it. Subscribe to my channel if you find those tips videos and uh, other videos I'm putting in uh, amusing, funny or you just like the series. And visit me on Twitch. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for tuning in, thank you for watching and Iron Rifle out.